Hope everybody's happy. Oh, I almost missed that transition. Hope everybody's happy with season two because it came out season yesterday. Two. Oh, of, of Halo. <laughs> of uh, <laughs> I was gonna say I'm trying to think of some show I just watched. Let's see. Of Ted Lasso. No, Ted Lasso season two is okay. Not as good as season one, but pretty good. All right, since I just brought this up, I will say everyone's like, you got to watch the show. You got to watch the show. You got to watch the show. And uh, the first couple episodes, I was like, so this is a TV version of the movie Major League. That's what this is. (laughs) Like, that's all this is. But actually, as it goes on, I'm like, you know what? This show's got a it's got a good heart to it. It's good. It's good. It's uh, it's a good show. Yeah. So anyways, uh, season two, Halo Infinite Launch. I played a little bit of it last night. So what has, I know there's like two new maps or something. Yeah, there's two new maps. The the thing that interested me was a a mode called Lone Wolves, I believe that's the title of it. Mm -hmm. And it's basically like a a baby version of a battle royale. It's not battle royale. They don't want to call it that, but that's what, that's kind of what it is. Kind of what it is. I see. It's not quite that, but it, so what is what makes it a baby version? Um, just fewer people, or so how many people? Smaller I think maps. I think it's like eight people, something like that, yeah. and you get five lives, and each time you kill somebody, you, you you get a new weapon, uh, or you can okay. upgrade your weapon. But as the game goes on, follow, tell me if you've heard this concept before. There's mm-hmm. a ring. It's red. Uh, and it, does it will shrink. It, it, does the ring shrink? Uh, did you play it? Because it sounds like you. No, have. I've never even heard of it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> interesting. Um, yeah. So, well, I, I, I actually, I have to say, so I, I'm intrigued by Battle Royale in general. Mm-hmm. I, and I would just use uh, Fortnite maybe as the obvious, just the example or whatever, and the ring thing and the blah, 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 whatever. But the thing that, I, that is uh, the one and done thing I do not like. I, yeah. I, I, all of the preamble of getting into the game and parachuting down and blah, 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 and you're like, maybe you're dead. Mm-hmm. You're like, I'm just gone. Like, I just, I, I don't like that. Um, so they've seemed to have solved that bit of it five. And the other issue is just the sheer scope of these islands or areas. Like they're so big. Like I, I, I this, uh, that might not be a horrible idea. A couple of ideas, I guess, Yeah. you know, smaller area, fewer people and, uh, multiple lives, mm-hmm. you know, and then they add their little twist and everything. I mean, it's obviously, you know, a derivative or whatever, but that's fine. I mean, what isn't a derivative these days? Is there like a truly new game type that's come along recently i mean you know yeah like everyone's doing it i guess I don't know. there's another mode uh in warzone it might interest you i don't know mm-hmm. it's called clash and it's okay. it's so you take the whole map they mm-hmm. section it off into just a small circle and yeah. it's just i think i think it's like 25 on 25 just team deathmatch that's all it is oh Okay, so they there used to be a uh, what was that called? I think they used to call something like that ground war, maybe. Yeah, it's like ground war, but um, it's a little bit more on steroids. I think because there's more people. Yeah. Well, I mean, at the time, you got to remember most uh, Call of Duty games for many many years were like six to eight people on each team, basically. I mm-hmm. mean, so the notion that you could have massive amounts of people in a map at the same time was kind of innovative or whatever, or unique. Um, yeah. That, okay, that's interesting. I. Yeah. I just, yeah, like I said, the two things, you know, one and done and just the sheer size. Because you, you spend a lot of time just running around. And then, mm-hmm. and then you combine those two things. You spend, I have games in Call of Duty where I don't see an enemy for like five minutes. And it's like, how yeah. is that even possible? It's every, yeah, the everyone's map. there. It's a fairly, you know, relatively small map. Um, you know, in a game like Fortnite or a Warzone, you could run for a mile. Never see, you just like running around mm-hmm. picking up stuff. And then, and you're dead. And you're like, oh, come on. That was what I just did. <laughs> you know, it's just, I don't know. I was trying to see how many players, but of course, Bing, why well, I haven't switched the en- sure. search engine on this one? Not finding it. Shocking. Oh, Jesus. I'll go to Google. <laughs> they look, you're like the, what are you, the patron saint of stupid Microsoft <laughs> services. So, <laughs> on Bing, I, I, I typed Caldera Clash Warzone, how many players? Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Google. Oh, they tell, they tell you how many like players sign up monthly or something. It, it gave me none of the information that I was looking for. Google, on yeah. the other hand, first result in bold, fifty versus fifty. Yeah. I yeah, right. Mm. Yeah. So anyway, there was a time uh, I don't remember what year it was, early two thousands, mid two thousands, where Microsoft was doing like a, a Pepsi challenge thing with Bing. They were so sure that their search results were just as good, and. Um, what you just experienced is what I think most people experience. Like if you actually take the time to look at both, you're like, oh yeah, that's why. That's why mm-hmm. I use Google. Yeah. That's the uncola. I don't know. What's your take, by the way, on the whole Vanguard thing? Like, so this has been it's oh, like Vanguard's bad news after bad news. Yeah. So 
Activision came out. I don't know what the maybe it was a um, maybe it was related to financial earnings or something. I don't know. But they came out and there was some kind of public statement about like this is like stating the obvious, like uh, yeah, you know that whole World War II thing uh, that was a mistake. <laughs> I was like, yeah, dude, you know, yeah, I think everyone said that before you even released it. Like, I don't know. I think that's been played out, you know, so, frankly. So, first off, they have really kind of ripped it out of Warzone. Not completely, but there used to be Vanguard Royale. Nope. Right. <laughs> it's no, gone. It's gone. Yeah. I don't but, think there's enough people, you know. I don't know if there's in. not enough people because it still sell. It's it sold well, but not in terms of no, Call of Duty but well. Specifically, they go into Warzone. Like, the problem is once you've experienced modern warfare, and I mean yeah. that, like, small m, small w, I don't mean, like, the title. Yeah, yeah. But just the, the weapons and the capabilities you yeah. get streaks coming down from the sky yeah, and yeah. stuff and like it, it's going back to mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's like um it's just not as fun as a game you know i uh, uh and whatever i don't know I, I someday yeah. i did this with the first modern warfare that i'm um, the first remake modern warfare um I, I eventually i think during the pandemic at some point i'm like i'll just go back and finish this single player campaign i never bothered you know and it was fine it was like okay whatever um, I'll do that with Vanguard probably. Um, I did that with the other, what was WW2, which was mm -hmm. not that long ago. That was another one. I don't think I played through immediately, but I eventually did, you know, like I'll just do it to do it. But like, I, I don't know. Yeah. This, I think modern, modern warfare, black ops, you know, this is what people like. Yeah. I mean, that's why this year should be good. So yeah, no, this year should be good. It'll be a nice little rebound. Hopefully, well, hopefully, I mean, it should be. It should be a good one. So we'll Maybe see. Maybe not do this every year. I think this is the problem. They're under, I think the Sledgehammer, I think, made Vanguard. You know, they didn't, mm -hmm. they just had the normal amount of time to make this. There was a pandemic, you know. Um, Activision was involved in a, a lot of political, awful stuff going on. I mean, I think there are a lot of factors that go into this, but... Um, the other thing, too, that I'm the end of this, you know. unnaturally excited about is yeah. I believe, and if somebody correct me if wrong, because nobody has any problems doing that, uh, <laughs> that going forward, all games are going to use the same engine. Because right now, they have the right, right. Infinity Ward engine, and then there's the yep. Treyarch one, which is the Black Ops side. And they're just sticking with the Infinity Ward engine, I believe, going forward. Because they're building a new one, and that's what's coming right. with this next-gen game, so... Uh, the most recent game. So I didn't. I don't. What did Vanguard use? I'm sorry. Did you? I don't remember. That? Actually. So for whatever reason. Oh, actually, no, no, no. I think it did use Infinity Ward's engine. Which is what? What was that last used on? That would have been used on Modern Warfare. Then. Yes. So for whatever reason, this is multiplayer. Um, Modern Warfare was unplayable to me. There was a real lag issue. That you know, this is probably a problem. In, um, Call of Duty. You see someone out of the corner of your eye. Yeah, yeah. And you know they're shooting at you. You run around the corner and you're fine, and then you die. You know, that kind of thing. Or mm -hmm. in Modern Warfare, the new one, you're just like standing there. You've just appeared and you're dead. And you literally never saw where the guy was. Like you had, there was no idea, no way of even knowing. And it was really frustrating. Um, and I, I didn't walk into this like, oh, I've never played a game. This would be fun. You know, I mean, I've been playing Call of Duty games since there have been Call of Duty games. Um, that was a huge pro I stopped playing it multiplayer. That was the year. I couldn't do it. I just, I stopped. I just couldn't do it. It was so frustrating. I went back again and again. It never worked. And Black Ops uh, Cold War, same problem. Probably a different engine. I don't know. For some reason, Vanguard, I just don't like it. <laughs> I think yeah, the I map's don't... boring. Um, they, they look bad. Like, they're mm -hmm. not graphically rich or colorful or whatever. Well, they're a little, they're a little more colorful than Modern Warfare was. But they just they look low res to me. Um, for some reason, that kind of worked. But the game itself was so uninteresting, I still don't play it. Uh, so I really, I'm, I don't know, engines, whatever. I agree with you. They should all use the same engine. I think that, that that's part of it. You should have a Call of Duty feel, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. Uh, look and feel, I guess. And um, I just yep. hope they get that part right, because if they settle on one engine, it doesn't work for you. I'm like, like, I don't know what to do anymore. I can't well, keep playing the same old game. All I mean, you got to do, Paul, to fix all your problems is just run that Ethernet cable. Don't don't rush into uh, it. Actually, it is connected via Ethernet. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, it's... Trust me, I, I didn't. Uh, it's on the floor, but yeah. yes, it is connected via Ethernet. Yeah. Hmm. Well, to polish off the all Xbox episode, yeah. uh, there's a new pink controller, Deep Pink. You know, that's Paul's favorite. <laughs> yep, yep. Men everywhere will just, uh, in our own confused goggle, uh, send this to their friends and say, We found the controller for you because that's what we do. 
I mean, I just paid good money for a design lab controller for my daughter. That's effectively the same thing. They just <laughs> yes. You know, the one I really like is a Scottish one. I don't know the right yeah. name of it, but it has those green and black kind of stripes or whatever. Basically a like kilt a, for your like hands. Yeah. No, it looks, but it's, it's really nice looking. I like that kind of mm-hmm. forest green color, you know. And then there's also an Xbox app update. There's also some new Game Pass games too coming, but uh... so um, I didn't understand the game, the uh, Xbox mobile app update at all. Uh, they basically said uh, we're adding an activity feed, which mm-hmm. they already have. So I guess they're making a new activity feed. And now when you share things, those things are called stories. Then yep. like you could always share game clips and yep. game videos and whatever else. I don't know whatever else. Those things that's always been, well, it's been there for years and years. Um, but now you can again, and now they're called stories because we have to be like Instagram. Is that what this? What the hell is this? Let me ask you a is question, that, Paul. Yeah. So if you share a story, mm-hmm. and it becomes the most popular one of the week, does mm-hmm. that make you the clip champ? 